I'm waiting on my husband to get in the car. We're on our way to church. And I think I know what I want my next sewing make to be. I want to make some overalls. So I decided I want to make the Simplicity 9590. I have been loving that pattern ever since I saw it hanging up in Hobby Lobby one day. I was like, oh, this is so cute. So I think I'm going to make the small. They have an extra small, but I think I'm going to go with the small. And hopefully I'll get kind of like a baggy fit. And I'm going to use some fabric that I purchased from L.A. Finch Fabrics. According to my body measurements, I should be cutting out an extra small. But I did cut out the small. And you need to cut out 11 pattern pieces. Three of the pattern pieces are to be cut out in interfacing only, not the fashion fabric. And then for the front pocket, it has to be interfaced on this side here and also on this side. They did not provide any interfacing pattern pieces for that part of the pattern. So I just used some tissue paper and just traced the interfaced section out and cut it out. So I'll use this and this. I did the same thing. And I'll just use these two pieces to cut out the interfacing. And then I'll just press it down to the front pocket pieces when I get to that part in the project. I will be using this denim fabric that I purchased from LA Finch Fabrics. This pattern does have a faux fly and then you have the two side pockets in the front. These are the two pockets in the back. I'm working on the bib. So the bib is in two pieces and you sew these two pieces together all around. And the bib was supposed to have a pocket on the front and I chose not to put a front pocket on my bib. I have the whole front piece all together and also the whole back piece all put together. And I'm almost ready to put the front and the back together. I just need to finish off the edges here this edge and this edge here and then also on the inside I need to go around here and finish these side edges and then I can put the hardware on and hem the pants which I love how wide they are and then also put buttons there's going to be buttons on the side I think you need two on each side so a total of four which I don't have so I may need to go to the store to get some I mean I have some buttons but I don't know if I have four silver ones because I have a silver buckle to go at the top so I want my buttons to be silver so I need to like look through my button stash and see what I have but yeah, after I do those things, I can try it on, which is the main thing because I know it's going to be big, but I'm just hoping and praying it's not like too, too big. So I just came back from Party City. So tomorrow is my husband's birthday and I got him a couple gifts and then I decided at the last minute that I would get him some balloons and some candy. So I got him a bucket of candy. And they were so nice at the store. They packaged everything up for me. And instead of buying a weight for the helium balloons, I just had them attach the balloons to the bucket because it was already heavy enough. So I am going to have to hide it from him so that he won't see it. And at first I was going to leave it in the car, but the candy is like chocolate. So I was like, no, that won't be a good idea because I know it'll melt. So I don't have it in here at the moment, but I'm going to hide it in here because he won't come in here if I'm not in here. So I think it's pretty safe for me to hide everything in here. So that's what I've been up to. But now I am sewing the outer leg. Is this the? Yeah, this is the outer leg seam. And... I'm doing one side. I haven't done the other one yet, so I'm just doing the one side and then I'll flip it over and do the other side. I did have several of these buttons. They're like shank buttons and they are a little bit bigger or wider than five eighths of an inch. I think they're three and a quarter. 
but I'm just going to go ahead and use these so that I don't have to go out and buy any buttons. Usually when I'm sewing patterns, I sew the sizes that range between six and eight. In this case, the size small ranges between sizes 10 and 12. I didn't make any adjustments to the pattern and this pattern is rated as easy. Last night I took my husband to a rage room for his birthday. So if you don't know, a rage room is a place where you can go and hit and break up items that are meant to be thrown away as waste. We watched a video on the rules and then we got to pick out items that we wanted to take our frustrations out on. We geared up and then we were placed in a room. And you can hit that item this direction with the face or the back of the shovel. You can also additionally use this as a baseball bat. So you can have one person throw up an item and see if you can hit it that direction. Same front or back, okay? If you guys are having trouble with any of the glass bottles, feel free to use any, typically the crowbars I would say, work the first or second time to break down those bottles into smaller pieces, okay? What's wrong with the car? Oh, I'm in neutral. I'm actually going out today and I wanna go to Old Navy actually because I saw that they had some really cute pajama sets and I actually need some pajama sets. So I'm looking for like a matching top with the matching bottom. And what I saw was that they had some fabric or some PJs in some fabric that was really nice and really spring looking so yeah I want to go check that out and see what they have and hopefully I can pick up some really cute PJs I'm stopping at Taco Bell I just want to get one burrito I just want something on my stomach okay you tell us to uh, to night thank you okay, you're welcome Hi, can I Wow. Give me a second, okay? Let me charge you. 290 seems hot for one burrito. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm so far away. Okay. Any sauce? Yes, may I have the hottest sauce you have? I love hot and spicy food. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to, I think I'm gonna park and just eat and then carry on with my day. I didn't end up buying anything from Old Navy. I did walk around and see what they had. I went to the clearance department and then I worked my way up towards the front. And they did have some button down shirts. I saw this really cute pink and white striped button down with shorts, but what I had in mind was more of a button down with pants. So anyway, I'm still gonna be on the hunt for some cute PJs. I know they're out there, but yeah. So it was fun seeing what they had in store. I haven't been to Old Navy in like forever.